Johnson for Jumanji. True. Yes, oh yes, we are. What? We uh, awesome. we start Details. filming that. We start filming in September, man. I'm excited. So is it excited. reimagining or is it like a continuation? Here's here's what we're doing. This is where everybody should get clarity. Okay. First and foremost, you can't you can't redo Jumanji. Okay. Right, Jumanji right, right. is a classic. Mm-hmm. Uh, rest in peace, Robin Williams. Yeah, what we're doing is modifying a movie for our generation. Okay. There's a generation who has no idea what Jumanji is or what it was. Right. So you take the same premise, you take the same movie, and you adapt. But you adapt in a way to where our times, our, uh, I guess you could say, our devices, Mm -hmm. our electronic capability, Mm -hmm. all of these things that we have access to now are different from the things that the world of Jumanji had access to then. So what we're going to do, we're just doing it on steroids a little bit, but at the same time paying homage to the late great Robin Williams. You know, Amen. it's The Rock, myself, Jack Black, and we're about to put a, a yeah. and the new Spider Man, Tom. Yeah, it, yeah. You should get in on the next uh, Spider Man. Oh, he man. will oh, if he wants to. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> this is the part you're talking about. It's going to go through levels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the if dip. he wants to, if he wants to, that's yeah, boy, yeah. I just don't know. Yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about it, man. And after that, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it up. I'm going to go drama. Kev, um, let me ask you the question that uh, that scares me every time I ask you. What, what you got going on? What, yeah, what does Kevin Hart have going on right now? Right now. That's being filmed in the editing bay, that's done. What What do you have coming up? All right. Well, I mean, let's, first and foremost, right. let's, just, let's, let's all understand that. Right. I'm a hard worker, yes, brother. Yes, you are, okay? brother. Uh, things apo- aren't given. Don't apologize for your yeah, success. Yeah. Th- things aren't given. They're taken. They're earned. Uh, right. So, you know, in this in this long list of ish that you're about to hear, <laughs> just understand that it's, 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 it's all well thought out and calculated. Okay, so you got Central Intelligence, of course, which is in theaters this weekend. Go support it. Uh, Dwayne and Rock Johnson, myself. Um, after that, you got Secret Life of Pets, which is in theaters oh, July no. 8th. My first animation, I play Snowball. I'm very excited about this franchise, the possibilities of what this animation can do. Um, after Jesus. that, you got What Now, the stand-up comedy concert film, or shall I say action stand-up comedy concert film that's coming out in October. Um, after that comes out, I'll be filming Jumanji. Um, after I film Jumanji, we will go into production with a movie called Intouchable, which is a remake of, um, of the foreign version in touchable, but it's me and Brian Cranston. Uh, you guys who don't know who he is, I mean, amazing, amazing. actor uh, from Malcolm in the Middle to Breaking Bad to to Trombone. I mean, the list goes on and on. So I'm excited to work with somebody of his level and his talent. Um, you got season five, Real Husbands of Hollywood. I've stepped it up. I've decided to put my my directing hat on now. So this season, I'm directing as well as writing, as well as producing, as well as starring. Um, after that, I said, well, why stop there? I created a network, so myself and Lionsgate yeah, is partnered man. up. And we have a subscription-based network, uh, which is basically, think title, think Spotify, but think for comedy. You know, Ooh. I said, why not create a multicultural hub for comedy? I don't like the fact that there's so many different places that people go to comedy, but it's segregated. Mm. I said, I represent all people. I represent laughter from all races, shapes, and sizes, so I'm going to build a network for it. Laugh Out Loud is that hub. Um, all content creators, all all mini-series ideas will be welcome, and this is a new business venture that I've taken on. I'm lucky to have amazing partners like Lionsgate in it. After that, oh, Lord, I said, stop. okay, yeah, I'm sorry, man. Okay. I, I'm sorry. Uh, Captain make Underpants. the last one. Captain, Captain yeah. Underpants. Yeah. Uh, the animation. We're doing that, which I'm very excited about as well. Have you ever got on the set and said the wrong lines? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> very, very well aware where I am and why why I need to be there and what I'm supposed to be doing. You got to pay extra attention to your schedule, though. I do. 100%. Yeah. Like today, I know that I have a meeting after work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then yeah. I have another one July 9th. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? So even just juggling all that, you know what I'm saying? Then That's I got, you That's know, fun, what I got the uh, <laughs> BET Celebrity <laughs> Basketball yeah. Game there you go. You where I am assistant coach there. there. You, go. That's huge. you know what I'm saying? I got to do that. Yeah. Um, That's huge. I'm going to the uh, Usher Bryson Tiller concert. Yeah. I'm, not doing anything. I'm just going. You're going but I'm that's going still on your that. schedule. That's, that's on, on your my schedule, bro. That's on my schedule. Basketball with my son on the weekend. So 
guy. Yeah, man. You know, what I'm sitting there and I'm just rolling this off the top of my head That's right huge. now. That's huge, yeah, man. man. I got memory. a YouTube channel. Well, mm-hmm. there you go. Yeah, I, mean, I got listen, that. Brother, you, you know. got stuff. From what I'm hearing, yeah. you got stuff going on. <laughs> yes, I do, um, man. You know, in your off time, if you want to take time, uh, you know, I'm very serious about this whole physical fitness thing right. now. Oh, man. Yes. We got to come back. Um, we got to talk yeah. about that, bro. Of course. You know, I got nothing but time. <laughs> <laughs> really, you don't. Y'all, <laughs> hey, man, it's crazy because when I be like, man, y'all stick around your radios, he go and shoot a movie and come back. Back. Kevin, you teamed up with Nike for your shoes, obviously, yes. for Hustle Heart. And- Are you wearing some right now? No, no, no. I'm Did you bring us some? Right <laughs> oh my- hey, dude, that's got to be horrible how many people oh probably God. ask you for shoes now that they know that you got, you got it, your own. It is, but at the same time, it's a question that you never thought that you would get asked. Right. You know, so that's the thing. You got to take everything, and like I said, there's a positive and Negative, right? So know. that was negative. You saying how she asked you for them shoes? No, that, that's, <laughs> that, the, that's the, pretty the, much what the, it was. The You're positive, little. the positive in that is that I'm being asked about my sneakers. Right. I have a signature sneaker. I'm that's, I'm that's signed by you. Nike as an athlete. How many of those? Now, what is your shoe called, Kev? Uh, it's a Nike Trainer Free Instinct Heart Hustle Heart. Now, mm-hmm. how many of those do you have at at your house or at your warehouse, the office? Like, how many pair of those do you own? Uh, you know, I own enough for me to work out in. You know, right now I don't. So like I don't, one pair? Uh, no, I got I got all well, the colorways you know, I don't work out before a lot. they before they come out. So I switch <laughs> up my colorways, but enough to where my rotation is cool. You know, I like to represent myself properly. Go ahead if now. I'm running. Do I'm you ever just shoe. run run and then handle to the like the home like? Cause you wear what? Like what? Five uh, or something? No, that's a that's a definitely. I'm I'm like a man's foot. Yeah, know, yeah. I'm y'all talking like about a, like a five and men's? Uh, no, I'm like an eight. I'm like a five <laughs> oh, eight. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. I don't like how I said that. Like, right. like it was a massive improvement <laughs> yeah. from no, the five. Like an eight. I'm like an eight. Right. No. <laughs> uh, no, man. Listen, I'm I'm. Let me tell you why I'm so excited. I'm so excited because this whole thing started from what I do. You right. Know, this isn't, I'm big on authenticity. I'm big on what's real. I'm big on what people are going to watch and respond to because there isn't a gimmick behind it. You know, we were filming, oh my God, we were filming Central Intelligence in Boston. Okay. And me and Boss, my trainer, Boss goes everywhere with me. I said, look, man, I'm not about doing things halfway. You know, we're going to go into it. Let's make it a lifestyle. You know, you're there every day. Where I move, you move with me. You know, let's let's really commit to this. Committed. We're in Boston. One day I get the idea. I said, yo, I said, you know, let's go for a run. But I'm going to tweet. See how many people we can get to show up with us. Mm-hmm. Out of nowhere, we did it last minute. We got 300 people to show up nice. and just run with us in Boston. Oh, man, this was dope. Let's do it again next week. Mm. I'm filming there. So I'm there every week. We do it again, we get 700 people. We do it again, we get like 1,000 people. Nike, uh, who's been friends of mine for a long time, said, Kevin, we love what you're doing. We want to sit and talk. Nike, myself, we talked. I told him, I said, the whole reason why I'm doing what I'm doing is to simply just get people motivated to get up and get active. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, I said, there's no reward in it. I'm not doing it for the gold medal. I said, I just think it's dope that people are like, yo, you know what, let's go run with Kev. Let's go. Let's go get active. Have you so, always been a, a runner? It seemed like I've I've like in I've the last gotten few into years. it a lot more, man. Right. That's my that's my that's my therapy. You know, right. me running with some headphones on by myself, running three miles, five miles. You know, now I'm up in it six, seven miles. That for me is is calming. That's mm-hmm. my that's my muse. So I've I've adapted the runner's lifestyle, and I'm glad that I did. And know? then you take it overseas as well yeah, it's global now that's, that's crazy dude you know we 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 did a tally nike and myself did a tally we had more than fifty thousand people run with heart wow more than fifty thousand people so this year i said well i don't want to i don't want to not grow in anything that i'm doing we were doing 5ks so right now i'm challenging myself to do a 10k mm-hmm. those people that did the 5ks you want to embark on this journey with me challenge yourself you know i'm coming back coming back to different cities i'm going to more countries i'm gonna make it a global phenomenon but more importantly i'm gonna do it to where through nike and through nike's app we're about to have it to where people are going to be able to be with me regardless of where you are i'm gonna connect with you regardless where you are we're gonna build that social community so we can all get active get get healthy together at the end of the day man i preach that you got one life yeah yeah you got one life man and when these kids will change that life i'm not i'm not helping death Mm. Why Why help death? You know what I mean? Like you, people don't take care of themselves, but you don't realize the end result is death. There, right, there is right. no in between. Mm-hmm. It's like, all right, well, you don't. Eventually it's going to catch up to you. You'll die. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to enhance my life as much as I can. And I think anybody who hears that and sees that, you know, it, it does help give people the push that some of them need, man. And, you know, everybody don't have to be an amazing athlete or a bodybuilder right. or this 
you know, this person is going to the Olympics. You know, you do what's best for you, but knowing that you're doing something is enough for you to carry on. Man. See, that, see that? I just switched from entertaining to motivational speaking. Yes, you did, yeah. brother. Back to being I think you're setting well, up for your TED see, Talk. The thing is, let me give you a little something <laughs> ahead, about Kevin Hart. What I'm thinking Kevin. about doing. <laughs> yes, that's my, yes, yes. Oh, this way, I'm also, I got a book. I'm also writing a book. I heard wow. about that. Yes, Sorry. don't yeah. stop. I'm also doing a book. And I got your another, book probably may sell, though. Uh, yeah, well, did you ever read my book? Mm. Actually, Big, you know what? I, I didn't. But right. I want to talk, yes. to, you. Yes. talk yes. to you about that. because I. You know what? I but that's okay because I haven't read copy. your book either. Well, it didn't come out yet. Uh, just like he's not going I, to. I know, but just let me have that moment where I say I didn't read yours either. <laughs> okay. Cut. All right. I'm do, sorry. Do you, when, when the director says cut, do you keep going? It depends on the take. If oh, I'm okay, on fire, that's true. All right. if I'm on fire, they can take But this. right there was kind of more like an exclamation point that I put. I didn't read yours either. We'd have to go dot, 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 dot. Oh, well, I just want to let you know I want to get yours. Right, right, right. You know what? I'm about to buy. It on Amazon today. That's uh, they don't have them available uh, anymore. They sent them all to me. So, <laughs> yeah. They took them all. Yeah, they, they sent them all to yeah, me. So bro. if you want one, I got one in the office for yeah. you, but they're no longer for purchase. You know what I'm saying? I bought the last hundred for six dollars. <laughs> <the total. laughs> all right. Do you know what the plan is for you for Father's Day? Man, ain't no plan. My babies do the same thing every year. Hype yeah. me up and give me some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Come downstairs, Dad. <laughs> do you still go downstairs surprised or do they, you go down me, like? They got me two years in a row.